Archimedes of Syracuse was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor, and astronomer. Although few details of his life are known, he is regarded as one of the leading scientists in classical antiquity, generally considered the greatest mathematician of antiquity and one of the greatest of all time. Archimedes anticipated modern calculus and analysis by applying concepts of infinitesimals and the method of exhaustion to derive and rigorously prove a range of geometrical theorems, including the area of a circle, the surface area and volume of a sphere, and the area under a parabola. The most widely known anecdote about Archimedes tells of how he invented a method for determining the volume of an object with an irregular shape. According to Vitruvius, a votive crown for a temple had been made for King Herod II of Syracuse, who had supplied the pure gold to be used, and Archimedes was asked to determine whether some silver had been substituted by the dishonest goldsmith. Archimedes had to solve the problem without damaging the crown, so he could not melt it down into a regularly shaped body in order to calculate its density. While taking a bath, he noticed that the level of the water in the tub rose as he got in, and realized that this effect could be used to determine the volume of the crown. For practical purposes, water is incompressible, so the submerged crown would displace an amount of water equal to its own volume. By dividing the mass of the crown by the volume of the water displaced, the density of the crown could be obtained. This density would be lower than that of gold if cheaper, and less dense metals had been added. Archimedes then took to the streets naked, so excited by his discovery that he had forgotten to dress, cried, Eureka! The test was conducted successfully, proving that silver had indeed been mixed in. The Claw of Archimedes is a weapon that he is said to have designed in order to defend the city of Syracuse. Also known as the Ship Shaker, the Claw consisted of a crane-like arm from which a large metal grappling hook was suspended. When the Claw was dropped onto an attacking ship, the arm would swing upwards, lifting the ship out of the water and possibly sinking it. There have been modern experiments to test the feasibility of the claw, and in 2005, a television documentary entitled Super Weapons of the Ancient World builds a version of the claw and concluded that it was a workable device. While Archimedes did not invent the lever, he gave an explanation of the principle involved in his work on the equilibrium of planes. Earlier descriptions of the lever are found in the peripatetic school of the followers of Aristotle and are sometimes attributed to Archytas. According to Pappus of Alexandria, Archimedes' work on levers caused him to remark, Give me a place to stand on and I will move the earth. Plutarch describes how Archimedes designed block and tackle pulley systems, allowing sailors to use the principle of leverage to lift objects that would otherwise have been too heavy to move. Archimedes has also been credited with improving the power and accuracy of the catapult, and with inventing the odometer during the First Punic War. The odometer was described as a cart with a gear mechanism that dropped a ball into a container after each mile traveled.